Hi queens, welcome back to a daily vlog. It's been a while. We have lots to do today. Um, I'm actually just, I just set up everything to film. So I'll give you a little behind the scenes of that. A lot of people asked about my summer shoes on like the last lookbook I put up. So I figured today I'm gonna film um, my best and worst luxury shoe purchases. Um, these videos are always helpful because if you were thinking about any of these shoes, you can see the ones that like have the best cost per wear and the ones that I'm kind of like, eh, I may regret buying those or I just don't wear them as much as I thought I would. So that's what we're filming today. I need a Red Bull, my energy is a little low. Um, same everyday makeup routine. <laughs> if you haven't seen it, I'll link a video below in IGTV. Um, lipstick is different. Um, I'm doing a little pop of color. I was inspired by my boo Monroe Steele. If you don't follow her, make sure you follow her. Um, she wore lipstick in her video that I just watched and I was like, oh, I haven't worn a pop of color in a long time. So here we are. This is a uh, Fenty Beauty. Let me get it. The lipstick is Fenty Beauty Candy Venom. I will give a low. Um, I've had it for a while, but I always forget about it. But I love her lipsticks. They're all matte, which is what I like if I'm doing a pop of color, but they're still like moisturizing. And they don't dry out your lips. So um, I'm trying to figure out what I want to wear for today's video. <laughs> um, I, st I have this little uh, like denim jumpsuit that I got. I think I shared in a nasty gal haul a little while back. I might want to wear that or a dress. I'm not sure because it's a sit down video. I want to be comfortable, so I'm not sure. But today I have, oh, I have a little jewelry haul. Um, I talked about it in my last video, how to look expensive. I talked about waiting on some jewelry and it's here. So I'm going to show you that, which is so cute. It's so cute. Um, I'm going to do, oh, I want to share um, a blazer from my other friend's line um, that she sent me and I love it. So I want to share that with you guys because it's black owned business and I love her and I want to support her and I think you guys really like it and it's like affordable. What else are we going to do today? Oh, I want to show you a new smoothie recipe. I always get a lot of questions on like what I eat and I haven't done like an eat in a day in a while. Um, but I've been like replacing bad snacks with this smoothie and it's really good. So I'm going to show you that. What else? Probably some other things too. It's a long day. Um, but let's get started. Let me pick out my outfit and then I'll come right back. Okay, I'm dressed now. I am very extra for this video, but I just I just felt like dressing up today. Um, I haven't worn this. This is a little Zara dress. I'll like stand back and show you the whole outfit, but it matches my lipstick. And I haven't worn this dress since I cut my hair. So I wanted to see what it looked like. I love it. It's from Zara. I believe it's in the sale. If it's still available, I will of course link it below. Um, let me give you a little OOTD. This is the dress. Um, I I believe I had to get this in a large. Um, it's something with the way the chest is. Like it just runs really small. But it has pockets. It's super cute um, and it's the perfect length for me. I'm five, three and a half. So I thought this would be cute to film today. So that's what we're wearing. It matches my lipstick perfectly. Okay, now let me show you the jewelry. Okay, um, I'm literally just sitting <laughs> on the uh, table in the living room. The house is in disarray because you know, we're moving soon. Um, we're actually, I'll update you in another video, but we're moving soon, so things are everywhere. So I'm just sitting in the living room on the table. But I wanted to show you the jewelry I just got. So this part of the video is in partnership with Masoma Jewelry. This is my package. I'm so excited because um, when I was, t I, t I told you guys in the How to Look Expensive video that I wanted to like um, get some more jewelry in my collection because what I have is really old and I can never link it for you or share it with you. Um, and this was one of the brands that I was going to purchase. So when they reached out, I was like, perfect um and I'm so impressed again I said in that video that like it's really hard to find really good jewelry that's quality that can last you because I get attached that, I mean, that's the Sagittarius in me maybe uh, but when I like something I want to wear all the time I get attached to it and then when I can't I'm sad and uh, I want to replace it so um I got this stuff yesterday and I love it already so and my goal was like 
more like dainty things that I could layer. So like I could layer them up to make an impact, but also I needed more like delicate jewelry. So, oh my God, I'm rambling, but it's so cute. Packaging is important to me. <laughs> so it comes in like this little box and it also came in a bag inside the box. So, um, and then you open it up, it's so cute. Okay, let me, let me, I got a few things. I also got earrings, which if you watch this channel, you know, I'm a stud girl, but I need to branch out. So let me know what you think. Uh, but let me show you the jewelry. Okay, so the first thing I got, this is probably like the chunkiest um, piece. Let's see if it'll focus. God, don't mind my nails, they're atrocious. There we go. Uh, so cute. So I got them all like in the appropriate links and I'll link I'll write the name right here across the screen of this one. Um, but it's oh, so pretty. I need my nails done so bad. But that, this is the first one. There we go. Oh, look how pretty that is. so that is the first one and I'm gonna like kind of show you my idea for stacking does it have the name on here does it have the name this one I really love because it's like the it gives you a layered effect but it's just two necklaces this one oh ah uh, you see how like dramatic that just made the whole vibe but it's like all dainty things that you can like mix and match that was what i was going for let me show you a little close-up let me see if i can just zoom there we go oh oh we're getting in there we are getting in there there we go oh stunning she's stunning okay let me show you the next one. This is this is quite a look we have going on today. Okay. The next one is like the most dainty, which is like, I think this one's a choker. Again, I should have, I'm sure I put the names on the screen um, in the editing process. But this one is like a little... Oh, I love it. I love it. Choker. You see? Oh, yes. Let's see. So again, they just, oh, they stack beautifully. And I can make this one a little longer too. Um, but I liked the option. This looks so pretty. And the reason I wanted to get more dainty necklaces is because I've been wearing so many dresses lately. And I feel like the chunky like type of necklaces or a certain vibe but that doesn't go with everything but these are like kind like this little one I could just keep this on all the time and like to shower with it and wear it all the time but the quality is amazing I'm so 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 pleased um because again it's just so hard I, I I try a lot of jewelry so it's very hard but yeah this and again just I said gold jewelry just elevates the look. I said that in my high look expensive video. It just adds a little something something. Okay, let's try on the earrings, which <laughs> let me know what you think. Okay, so this is the first pair, which are super cute. And I think the most like my style, like they're almost little studs. They're like tiny little hoops. Let's see what we think. What do we think? Oh, that's kind of cute. It's just different. I, <laughs> this probably seems like nothing to most of you, but I just don't wear anything besides studs. I haven't in years, probably like five years at least. So this feels like super dramatic. <laughs> I know, am I crazy? Let me know if you're a stud person and that's all. And a lot of people, with especially with this haircut, a lot of people, like dramatic earrings and I'm still just like I don't know but these are so pretty okay that's 
feels so weird having something on my ears. Oh, they look pretty. <laughs> Let me know what you think. God, let me look. What do we think? Oh, they look cute. <laughs> they look cute. They're super cute. Yeah, they can see the detail better. Really, really like intricate little details. My face is beat today. <laughs> also, I think I like them. Let me know what you think. Okay, we gotta move on with the day, but of course I will link everything from Miss Soma so you can check them out. I will link all the things that I got. I'll also link the things I just ordered that I don't have yet, but you saw on the screen. They're like really cute and I think they'll go really well with like the necklaces that I have like that green one and the cross will be like a little longer so it'll just create more of a substantial stack when I want it okay enough about that thanks to Masoma for sponsoring this part of the video now I'm gonna film so I'll show you kind of like a behind the scenes of that everything is set up um, I'm going to start filming the video I'll give you a little behind the scenes also let me walk you through um, like my setup I always get a lot of questions about what I use and everything is always linked in the description box below like everything that I use so what I vlog on is a Canon G7X Mark III um, I don't recommend it <laughs> um, apparently this had just come out when I was looking for a camera because I used to use my iPhone um, so I obviously I just wanted to get the newest because I thought that would be the best. This one does shoot in 4K, so the quality is better than the Mark II. But the autofocus is horrible. If you look up any videos about it, people will tell you, like, just stick with the two. And it's cheaper. It's half the price. Like, that one, because it's old, is like 400 and I paid like 800 for this one. So that sucks. But that's what I use. <laughs> um, and I'll link the Mark II below. And then I'll turn you around. And for my setup, I have um, a ring light, which is linked below. This is just like a standard one. It comes with different panels. So this is like the white light. There also comes with like, if you want more yellow light, um, it comes with those little strips. So you can just like take these things off. And my camera is a Canon Mark. I'll put it on the screen right here. I can't even think of it. Recently upgraded to this camera. Um, it doesn't have a flip out screen like um most cameras that you film with or like my old camera so most people will set up some type of like screen or monitor like so they can see I don't do that I just wing it I check every time I film a clip I check the clip back just to make sure it's good and I'm in focus um and then the huge difference and what I would recommend before buying a new camera is upgrading your lens this is a sigma it'll be linked below um but I think it's a sigma 13 to 33 18 to 33 but it made a huge difference. I bought this lens when I had my old camera just to upgrade it before I was ready to invest in this camera and it makes a huge difference. And then this little light, I'm not sure what it's called. Oh, it's a newer. That's what it's called. That's the brand there. Um, this is the light. I will link it below as well. And I like this light. I have two of these, but I like this light because you can also like, if you want more yellow or cool tone, you can change that. And that is my setup. I also have box lights um, that I used to use. I don't anymore, but I have them just in case I need additional light. So I will link those um, below as well. You do not need all of this stuff if you're interested in starting a YouTube channel. Um, as you get, as you film videos, you will figure out what you want to elevate and what's in your price range. So um, when I started, I just used my cell phone. That was the only equipment I had um, and the first thing I bought were the two box lights that I don't use anymore and I think they were like $50 for two on Amazon and that's all I had. And then I got the camera before this camera um, and that's all I had and it wasn't amazing quality um, and then after a couple months I upgraded to this lens on my old camera and that again I just did it bit by bit. This was over the last year and a half at this point. And then I got a new ring light and then I got that light. 
then I got a mic like I just kept trying to get better and watching my videos back trying to see how I could make them better taking feedback from you guys a lot of people talked about the sound like in my like beginning video so I do have a mic I'll link this below too um it's just like a lapel mic it's super cheap it was like 20 bucks um, but I don't wear it on my lapel because then when I did that, people said it was too much sound and they could hear everything. So now I just like clip it to something. You can see it's clipped to my notebook right there. Or I'll clip it to like the blanket or something. Um, so that you can j get just enough sound. So <laughs> hopefully that's helpful for anyone thinking about starting a YouTube channel. You don't need anything to start. Just need yourself. I still edit on iMovie. It's free. <laughs> And I just, I literally am trying to be the expert at iMovie before I upgrade and pay for any other, like, software. Like, I need to be able to work everything, get everything out of iMovie. So until that day comes, I will be using that. Um, so yeah, that was a tangent, but let's film. And then it'll be lunchtime we can make this movie. Okay, bye! <music>made my smoothie um I put everything on the screen so you should it's super super simple but it's so delicious especially if you have like a sweet tooth it's just a good snack this is like what I usually eat or drink in the afternoon now instead of like popcorn or chips or I just I'm a snacker I like to snack um so this is like a good after lunch for dinner type of thing and it fills me up so that is that. Um, I'm gonna quickly do a little clean with me because my room is, I mean, as you can see, it's, this is what it's like creating content in your house. Um, I can't wait until we move. I have so much more room to get messy. Um, but I'm gonna quickly clean up and then um, we'll do a little try on. So I'll be right back. Oh, also I changed because I just wanted to be comfy. I have my little sleeper PJs. I really need these in another color because they just make you feel fabulous and they're comfortable. It's not just about like how great they look, which they look great, but they feel so good. Like the quality is amazing. I think I want to get the pink ones. White is on sale, but I know I would mess that up. Okay, let's clean up. vlog I wanted to show this cute little piece this is from my friend's brand it is black owned it's called shop Caribbean cowgirl and when I saw this I just had to have it you know this is my color you know this pink <laughs> magenta hot pink magenta I think is my color it like nips in at the waist um very much like the Balenciaga kind of blazers um but it has like this it's just so much detail has this little pin tuck here so it kind of gives you that hourglass look I really like it with one button and kind of open you could push up the sleeves I just have on my little sleeper pants still so it's kind of a look actually and I have my favorite little Zara crop top on underneath but like this is a total little vibe um, and her brand is gives you the high-end feel but at a really good price point. So of course I will link um, this below. I'm wearing a size medium and what I love most about it besides the color is the length. 
I love blazers that come past my butt, skim over my hips. It's just the most flattering for my body style, body type. Um, but I wanted to share this because a few people have been asking, let me flip you around. <laughs> okay. Um, but I wanted to share this one because I love it. But a few people have been asking for like, hauls and can I like share some new summer stuff and the commitment I've made to myself is that I won't be buying anything like the first thing that I buy needs to be from a, a black brand so that's my priority um, right now I'm just not shopping very much in general because we're about to close on our home and you know we have to pay for upgrades <laughs> that we got and you know we want to we want to have a really large down payment so that we can have a smaller um, mortgage every month so in general I'm just not shopping like the last month um, and probably the next few weeks um, but when I do a haul I want it to be I'm, I'm working on like kind of accumulating a good range of black owned brands I'm trying to just do my part this is kind of like when all of this kind of kicked off like how can I make an impact and that was is that what was overwhelming me and I feel like realizing like if we all just do a little something more a little something extra for me that's putting my money where my mouth is um, and just making sure I invest back into my community so that's what will be coming um, until then it'll be just a lot of vlogs because we just got a lot going on right now um, and then if I'm working with a brand that may be shared um, because that's just work for me. Um, but as far as the next upcoming haul, it will be a black owned brand. So I'll keep you posted on that. But yeah, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I still have to finish editing the video I filmed this morning. I wanna get that up today. That's how hectic things are right now um, that I'm like literally filming and editing and uploading on the same day. Not typically, but right now. So, of course, make sure you check out all of the Masoma goodies I shared. I'm still wearing the three necklaces. Also, let me know your thoughts on earrings for me. Am I just crazy? Am I not used to it? Do we prefer the studs? I don't know. Let me know. Um, and I'll share the three pieces that I bought in addition to these probably in next week's video when I get them. Because I literally just ordered them yesterday. Um, and then I will leave the link to Shop Caribbean Cowgirl in the description box. I think that's everything. Thanks for stopping by. See ya.